Hey, good morning, friends. It's Julie. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing great. And thank you so much for joining us this Thursday morning. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about a lesson I learned this weekend from the tallest living thing on the planet. And this is Life Builders. If you haven't been here before, I'm Julie. Good morning, Stacy. And we're doing simple tips to build a strong and healthy life. I wanted to ask you guys this morning, do you have anything of someone in your past, in your history, in your family line that means something to you? Tell me what it is. Good morning, Carrie. How are you? Oh, thanks for the cup of coffee. I need some. I haven't had it yet. Good morning, Miss Hicks. Great to see you. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I have this one thing. This is my simple ring. It's just a simple little jade ring. Good morning, Rachel. It's way too big for my finger, but it was my great grandma's ring and my great grandma Norman. And you know, I was, I've been thinking about her a lot lately because we're going through some stuff with my, my grandma and I was with my great grandma Norman when she died. This is, I, I have a couple things from her, but this is the one thing. And I wear it when I'm in a place where I need lots of faith because she had a lot of faith. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. I remember one time I lost this ring. I was so upset. I could not find it anywhere. And I like for months, I couldn't find it. I was so upset because it was like my one thing, you know? And then I, <laughs> I sat down on the toilet one time and it had a window next to it. And I just, I was like praying and praying, like help me find this ring. And I looked over onto the windowsill for some weird reason. And it was sitting right there on the windowsill. It had been there for like three months. And I was so happy I found it. But you know, this means something to me because um, like I said, my grandma had a lot of faith. And you know, I remember her having a little necklace with the mustard seed in it. And on her dining room wall, it had, you know, the cross stitch thing that I was young and now I'm old and I've never seen the righteous forsaken or their seed begging bread. You know, I remember those things. And so when I'm in a circumstance where I need a lot of faith, I put this on and I wear it. And I feel like it gives me faith. I don't know if it does or not, but I'm like, hey, I got something of my grandma right here, my great grandma with me in this ring. And it gives me faith because she had faith. But you know, I saw a beautiful example of that. This, so we were talking about if you have something from a loved one or whatever, I'd love for you, I'd love to hear what it is like your special thing. Because today isn't about a ring like this, but it is about a different kind of ring. And I learned about this from going to the Redwood Forest this weekend. And they have this formation that happens and it's called, you can call it a fairy ring or they also call it family circles. Um, that's right. Yes, I love that. And they also call it family circles. And what is happening is when you're walking along in the forest, do to do, you're in the redwood forest, tallest living thing on the planet, and you come upon a perfect circle of trees. So there could be seven, eight, nine trees in a perfect circle. And you're wondering, you know, what happened in this circle? How did these trees get into this perfect formation? Well, here's what happened. And this is what really made me start thinking. And I hope it'll make you start thinking too. There's a parent tree. There's one tree. And this tree has the capacity to make all these little trees. But when everything's going great, it doesn't release that capacity. The chemicals in it keep it from growing little trees around the base. But there is something that happens when something happens that has to cause that seed or that tree to grow outwardly. What happens is it could be a drought. It could be a fire. It could be some circumstance that becomes hard on the tree. And what the tree does is it begins to replicate its DNA in this circle of little trees coming out from the trunk. So it grows up these shoots around it. And this is the most beautiful part. Often the tree in the middle dies. The tree in the middle is gone. But what's incredible is that every single one of these trees, baby trees, around where the trunk was, has this exact same DNA as this tree that could be thousands of years old. And here's the other crazy thing I want you to take away from this. The roots of the old tree that died still nourish that they give food to the new trees. And it just made me start thinking, they give stability to the new trees. 
they give food the, where the, the sunlight now can get down because the big tree is out of the way. Now the little trees can get sunlight and they can grow up tall. And you see now you have massive trees in a perfect circle because it is branched out and it's feeding those little trees. And it just made me think about this stuff and think about this. When you and I are gone, there will be a day when you and I are gone. What are we leaving behind? Are we leaving behind tall, strong trees that are standing that the roots of what we have spoken into their lives have gone deep and they have replicated the DNA that we've poured out into them that are the words that we said 20, 30, 40, 100 years ago, they still carry on and still feed those trees and cause them to become pillars in the forest or pillars of society, are we pouring into our lives, pouring out of our lives so that when we're gone, there's going to be a strong forest of trees where we once stood, but we're still feeding it. What do you think? Do you think that you're building up a forest around you of DNA that is like you that will be able to withstand the storm? I'm sorry if you guys are just coming in. I see a lot of people just coming in. I am like, you gotta rewind it because I'm like preaching right now. <laughs> but are you building up around you something that is going to last longer than you? Something that is going to put the DNA, this ring from my grandma, I've got that DNA of faith that she had a hundred years ago. She was born in 1900. And when she passed away, I was there at her bedside and I was the only one at her bedside. And that tree of our family went on. And yet now here we are 117 years later and there's pillars that are coming out of that faith that are coming out of what was born there in that place in our family and my sister helping in the hurricane and my dad pastoring a church and you know just all of these different things and my sister in ministry in Georgia and me here and our family and my kids leading worship and all of that is coming out of something that was passed along of that DNA so I just encourage you to think about what are you leaving behind who's gonna be standing behind you is it gonna be a wake of destruction or is it going to be a forest of pillars that are standing up for what is right, that are standing strong and true and beautiful, creating this beautiful environment? Because the roots that you planted right now, they're going to be feeding them for a long, long time. And your legacy is going to go on. So let's think about legacy. Think about what you want to come after you and let's pour into that. Are we leaving a legacy so that people can be poured into and can go further than we have and go stronger than we have and taller than we have? Can we push people around us on to become better than we've become? That's the question for today. I hope that speaks to somebody because it really spoke to me to just think about if I go right now, Am I leaving behind something that's going to grow tall and strong and beautiful? And I hope that you can think about that too. And again, I'd love to hear about what little reminders, what little tokens like Ms. Hicks, Hicks said that you have of the people that you love in your family that have been pillars in your family. I love you all. I hope you have an amazing day. And if you want more, you know, what videos, check out my YouTube channel. Did you guys know I have a YouTube channel? Just look it up. Life Builders by Julie Hamilton. All right. I love you. May your minds be fierce, your heart strong, and your spirit very kind. I will see you on Monday at 830. And we've got an incredible lineup of speakers for you this fall. We've got Beth Kinder coming up. We've got um, Crystal Heisel coming up. We've got Hillary Harris coming up. If you guys don't know them, you are going to know them. They are awesome people. So I love you and I will see you on Monday at 830. Bye.